seen any. Ah, this is the Colokine Jojo Cat C10. It's a Bluetooth speaker that manages to set itself apart. Colokine says this is a retro punk design inspired by Rubik's Cube. That doesn't make any sense to me at all, but I have to admit, I ordered this simply because it looked cool. I'm holding this next to the camera, so it looks pretty large, but when I bring it back toward my face, you can see how small it is. The C10 is very inexpensive, and my expectations were low. It has a leather handle, or probably a polyurethane leather handle, actually, a volume knob, power button, tracks forward, reverse, play, pause, and then on the back, we have your charging port and TF card slot and a passive radiator. This is not a speaker. It's just a passive radiator. And then on the bottom, you've got some rubber feet to keep the thing from bouncing around when you've got it turned up. The C10 doubles as a power bank, but don't get your hopes up in that regard. It only has an 800 milliamp hour battery. It takes two to three hours to charge and will provide two to four hours of playback which might be the shortest amount of time I've ever seen in any Bluetooth speaker. Normally when you adjust the volume on a Bluetooth speaker, it will change the volume on the host device. This one does not. When you adjust the volume, it's only changing the volume on the speaker itself. I don't know if I mind that, but it's definitely different, so I thought I'd bring it up. The bottom line for any speaker is how does it sound? And it sounds better than I expected and actually pretty good. You're not going to get a lot of bass out of this. The passive radiator doesn't help. There is no thump to be had. Plus the battery life is a severe limitation. But you don't buy the speaker <laughs> for anything but the looks and it looks fantastic. I struggle with how to rate this speaker because Colokine is very honest with its capabilities and it exceeded my expectations. And I love the design. So what does that mean? Is this a five out of five speaker at its price point? Yeah, I think so. You can't compare this with speakers that cost much more. Of course, it's not going to perform that well. But if you have heard what I've said, if you love the look of the speaker, if you are willing to live under its limitations, it's a low risk. Get the speaker. Thanks for stopping by.